Hi guys, this is Astro Park and uh, today finally I'm going to explain you how to use my fair value gaps indicator. Uh, a lot of uh, people asked me to make a video tutorial on it, uh, so here I am finally. Um, so this is my nickname, you can find me on, on Telegram, you can find me on, on here on TradingView. Uh, of course, uh, you have the link uh, in the description of uh, my Discord uh, channel. Uh, you can reach me even here in the comments on uh, YouTube. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Hit like if you like it and uh, follow me for more video and uh, strategies explanations. But let's uh, go <laughs> directly on um, on the indicator. This is uh, the fair value gap indicator. You can change basically the colors if you like to, to change them. The fuchsia ones are for uh, are like bearish fair value gaps, uh, while the lime one are uh, bullish so um, essentially you are expected to see a reaction towards the upside when a fair value gap like this is attached okay for example like this okay you see also a dot appears when a fair gap gap is uh, is um, is hit and the same here uh, but the contrary with the, the bearish fair value gaps. So when they are hit, you're, you are expected to see a price decreasing. Okay, so here, for example, a lot. Uh, <clears throat> so this is a, a simple chart on uh, Euro USD. Um, let's go, um, for example, uh, on. Uh, on past history, uh, let me explain something. Maybe you sometimes, especially if you go, for example, let's say on the five minutes, a lot of people ask me uh, something that can work on the five minutes, um, and they ask me for the fair value gap. I'm not sure it can help really on the five minutes. Uh, because uh, uh, you have two, really two uh, gaps. So how can you solve this? And especially if you set the auto draw, you will see something like this, which is really not nice to to see. So uh, what uh, I suggest in this case is, is that you can uh, define a starting uh, point of, of analysis. So let's say uh, from December uh, of the last here so you will see less and less lines when uh, the indicator will hand to load you see these three points so when it will uh, reload <coughs> of course you will see less uh, okay uh, so for example I'm oh, sorry uh, here an example a lot of fair value gaps uh, were a hit and price bounced and the same we can say here, a lot of regular gaps hit. Okay, mm, but really I don't trade uh, the fair value gaps uh, on the five minutes. Uh, one of the most important thing of fair value gap is that uh, if a gap was created, then uh, uh, somehow in uh, the future it will be filled uh, eventually. So. What I normally do is uh, that I track, for example, important fair value gaps. Uh, so starting from uh, the weekly, the daily, and then the four hours. And just for this, uh, let's remove the settings, uh, the time limit settings. <coughs> now here, for example, these are all oh, these are important fair value gaps. So when they are hit, you for sure you can expect uh, a price uh, moving in the opposite direction. Okay, these are really important ones. This was was uh, hit and uh, just uh, 
in a hidden buy market because market records are actually really high. But the same you can expect here when a 1.25 will be hit, or you can expect a really an important bounce here on 1.14 um, or 15. Okay, just some little example. Um, but how can you trade? Okay, these. Um, these very value uh, gaps. This is how I do. Okay, let's get back here. For example, you are here. Let's suppose you are here. Okay, you are exactly here at this point. Okay, just some basic uh, knowledge. You have uh, this downtrend. Okay, this big downtrend. And you see a, a breakout. Okay, so the first target you can use these these uh, fair value gaps as targets, for example. Okay, so especially if you see the breakout, you see that some bullish fair value gaps are uh, created and immediately fill it. You build here your long position and you close while the price goes up. Okay. This is just a perfect example, so the perfect scenario you want to see. And when this is a hit, okay, you wait for some kind of consolidation, so the the so-called blow half top, and then you set up your short, okay. So on the the value gap, if you like, or the higher the better, of course, stop loss above the the top and in this case you wait for the fair value gap below so these are like six hours okay so a, a really a lot of uh, of money if you manage your risk uh, in the right way then for example here another really nice uh, uh, trade idea so fib retracement here, for example, mm -hmm. so the 382 level was a hit and the price, the price bounced here. If uh, we uh, calculate from this point to the point to this, let's remove this. This was also in confluence uh, with uh, the golden uh, golden Fibonacci retracement so 05068, so a nice short setup also here. So, for example, a short here on the fair value gap with stop loss above the 0705, uh, and usually. Uh, three hours. This is what I target. So three hours reaching easily. Here there was also um, a demand. So if you ask me, so <clears throat> perfect uh, target as demand. And uh, here again, you see this. Uh, you see here this uh, consolidation. We may see this as a consolidation area, okay, for the price moving up again. So, for example, this is a really nice uh, fair value gap here with pin bar, so a perfect uh, long setup, and you can uh, directly set up along here with the stop loss below the pin bar and wait for the previous high for example okay so this is the previous high these are like 10 hours for example so just an amazing trade you may also have uh, triggered uh, so you may have uh, sorry a trading stop uh, trade management and you could have done really more than 10 hours okay so but um, what I wanted to say how do I use it so I keep track in my 
in my trading uh, in my trading about all these fair value gaps so for example like this I keep track of them so this is not because it was already hit these are not more important but these these are important I do the same for the daily so when I go back to the 15 minutes where for example I trade I simply stop this fair value gap and uh, I keep remembering that here I will likely be wanted one too short and here too long so this is a imp really important reminder for me it it helps uh, really uh, a lot um, what can we also say about uh, this, uh, this indicator? Okay, so let's keep with the, the 15 minutes. But as you can see, this is really not useful. Uh, let's say you are somehow lazy like, like me. Uh, I built this tool because uh, <laughs> I like the help of, um, of the technique. Uh, so for example I want to see the six hours fair value gaps on my chart I can do it easily this way uh, I set up the resolution and I wait for the indicator to reload itself so these are these were the four hour ones okay so we have a confluence with the six hour here for example as a short uh, if I want to see, uh, this was, uh, this is, for example, um, a six-hour, six-hour bullish fair value gap. Okay, just an example. Okay, and here you can see in, in your uh, in the trading that uh, having uh, a six six hour fair value gaps so it's uh, it's easier to see more important uh, more important uh, fair value gaps you see here this is it and the price bounces this is hit and you have some reaction on the low you have uh, not immediately but you have the reaction here okay the same here you have the reaction some sometimes a really important the reaction so here you have also a reaction uh, this is another example you have a reaction etc etc so um, this is the indicator you can use it also on uh, Bitcoin on Forex it it applies to every market because it's a, a general rule so when there is a gap in the price and volume um, a fair value gaps appear uh, let's remove this let's move to 1d let's remove okay so here for example uh, really not I'm sorry really nice to see how these fair value gaps uh, just call at the top and uh, who uh, traded for example the breakout here so like this triangle a breakout could have used just uh, these uh, three fair value gaps one two three as uh, targets in the long okay really nice catch here or here if you like or here and so on so for me it's a really powerful indicator because uh, it helps me to find a position where I want to where I want to set up a long or a short so if I want to have an edge I gonna have it easily so this is for example a zone when you want to open along okay oh here you take profits if you are long here it was almost touched and price bounced up and so on and this applies to all the markets uh, we can try to see Tesla for example uh, 
Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. So here are some example again. So some kind help in buying the dip and selling at least the local top. Okay, so how to refill your entry, etc. Here the the FOMO didn't let you buy anything, but this was okay and so on. Uh, and so on guys. So um, what can I what can I can I tell you? Uh, many users ask me what they can use together in confluence with my indicators. So for example let's move here to variable gaps. Again let's check out the four hours and uh, I don't want to see 2018 um, let's say something like this and um, let's see what we get and I use it together with my breaker blocks supply demand order blocks for example if you ask me Okay, so for example here a, a bullish breaker block, so a bullish is already fair value gap, again here, and how can you help yourself in trading? By using great tools and uh, checking for confluence between them, them. So here for example a supply demand. Uh, which uh, I do the same. Uh, I configure it on uh, the six hours, for example. So here was a, a, a really great trade because the confluence with the demand area here, so great uh, long here, or you will uh, take profit here. You refill here and take profit here, where demand is located. Okay. So here you see, here it is the demand, here it is the supply, so you know where to buy and where to sell. Another indicator I like very much is the stops hunting indicator, because uh, it really shows you how the market maker likes to trigger the stop loss and in order to move the 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 market on the other direction so here you can easily see for example here when you plan when you are so high you want to plan your short here again you want to plan your short here again at the stop and here you want to plan your long okay these red lines are the uh, the shorter stop loss. So once they are all hit, you see the price will move back down. And here are all the bullish, this green, so the long, the bulls stop loss are triggered, then the price moves up again. It's again, so it's just a, um, a cycle. When they are all hit, you have the, the move down. Here again, checking the breaker blocks or confluence. What will happen? Let's see. Now let's, uh, of course, also with the the stop hunting, so you you can um, edit uh, the the starting point when you want the analysis to start. You can change the colors. Of course, of course, you can um, you can uh, remove uh, directly here what you don't like, and uh, all the lines are in, uh, we can directly remove here all the lines so to keep only the the red and green uh, lines. Uh, 
let's remove for a moment also the trading suggestions on the breaker blocks just to have a cleaner chart and so here we go we have a retest okay here you see stop something say here is where you want to short here you see a fair value gap hit and uh, this is a great short opportunity short area here you see fair value gap hit and uh, demand so here you long so you blindly long okay so this is the perfect confluence you want to see this was uh, an area where uh, we had uh, the green for stop something and here you have also the demand printed by the supply demand or the block indicator and so on okay so here you add the the red of the stop something here you have the supply drone okay and so on if you want more uh, on free value gaps you can just move this um, um, if you ask me what are these uh, these uh, inputs for the fair value gap just this is just like uh, uh, changing the sensibility of the indicator in showing uh, the fair value gaps so we are now seeing the one hour fair value gaps so here we go, for example, here a, a nice confluence, nice confluence again, already a nice confluence here, and so on. Here again, you still have the same uh, supply, and so on, guys. So I hope um, uh, I was uh, clear enough in show you, showing you how to use my fair value gaps. How to you can use also other tools like my stops hunting and my supply demand order blocks indicator. How uh, it's important to trade, especially confluences of indicators, to have a higher degree of hedge in your trading. Again, you can write me in private. Uh, this is my nickname. Uh, you can write me here on TradingView or on Telegram, on Discord, as you like. I'm uh, always uh, available to help you guys. My final objective is to build uh, really a powerful trading system for you guys to trade safely and uh, doing profit. Okay, because this is what uh, helps you stay in the market. Uh, please don't lose all your uh, your money trading uh, over leveraged or with the too high position sides. Manage your risk. Uh, don't uh, have, use some stop loss. Have some invalidation point, guys. Please don't don't lose your uh, your account. Mm, if you want to short here, for example, you don't blindly short and be liquidated on the top of the week. Always mind to have a stop loss, for example, um, above the recent high or below the recent low. Okay, If you had, for example, here a stop loss at this point, if you can try to catch, for example, here along, uh, you had a stop loss for here. This was was really good because you could have lose your account with price going so low. Just doing an example, okay? If you see then a good reaction, so a bullish reaction, then you can enter again. You can enter again on um, on the on the trade, okay? Just don't lose your count. Okay, guys. Cheers. Have a nice day. And again, uh, Happy New Year. Bye-bye.